and I'm going to show you how to throw a proper dapper jab. Now, sometimes you be jabbing thinking you're jabbing right, but every time you jab, you keep, you keep getting booped upside your head. You can't understand why it's happening because your coach told you to jab, jab, and it's not working. So let's see what happens. So if you're dealing with a guy who has a quick overhand and you're jabbing straight, no overhand, boom, you're getting booped up. See, the problem is you're throwing your jab line straight. Now, my, uh, my, my Spanish boxing teacher, Killer, showed me how to throw the jab the right way to stop that from happening is that the jab should have an incline. So, as he throws the overhand, so you see, slow motion, the level of my jab jabbing upward stops the overhand from getting in. Now, I'm not hitting him, but if I was to bend down to do it, I cover my chin and cover the part that allows the overhand to get in instead of throwing the jab here and the overhand gets in. So when you jab instead of this jab, you're looking for what we call the floating jab. Tip of the day, float the jab. Adding on to what I was saying about floating the jab, so we're gonna use this as a pad just to show you the reaction from floating to regular jabbing. So this is my, my regular jab, jab straight off. So a lot of time when you jab and then you want to throw the right hand behind it, sometimes you push it away too far and you don't really get the right hand in. So now we'll see the reaction of the floating jab. See the pop? That's different from, let's see how this goes back, but the floating jab does what? Send it up. So when it comes up, it's easier to hit it with the right hand. Combo. Good 